What's happening? What's up, guys? Ball Reviews time. Yeah, baby. We are doing a uh, blended Scotch whiskey, Johnny Walker Blue, Ghost and Rare. And rare for us. Yeah. Johnny Walker products. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Walker. Uh, this is the Brora. This is the Ghost and Rare Brora, the first edition. Um, there's a total of three of them out. This is the first one. Um, the Brora one, obviously very curious. Recently, these have been going crazy. So I go for 800 pounds. That's like to, with fees and everything to bring it home is going to be like $1,400. Yeah. The whole, um, the Brora hype, Port Ellen yeah. hype. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, when these came out retail, they were 250. Yeah. Uh, most places charging around 400 locally recently, but it's just kind of all gone now. Gone. All gone. Yeah. Um, we've been searching. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways. Um, this whiskey is essentially, does it show all the distilleries on here that are on here? Cause I don't know all of them right here. So, yeah. So it's, there's, uh, two ghost, uh, malt distilleries, Brora, Pitivac. There's a ghost, uh, ghost grain distillery, Canvas. And then in addition, there's five, you know, rare distilleries, they say. Uh, Royal Lochnagar, Kleinleash, Glen Kenshi, Glen Lossie, and Cameron Bridge. So two grades, six malt, ghost and rare. And this is bottled at 46%, which is a little right. bit higher than your usual uh, regular blue label. Yeah, which is nice. Um, so that adds a little bit to it. All right, here we go. On the nose. Hit it. What is cool, they do have a, you can see, a little bit. They do have a cool map. It just kind of gives you perspective of where they're all located on the side. Let's do it. Mike, this has that DNA of, of Blue Label. I recently, a few days ago, had a little bit of Blue Label. Um, so just to kind of compare, this is definitely a step up, a clear right. step up from, yeah. from the regular Blue Label. It's not like it, but it's got that DNA in there. It's It's... It's got beautiful fruits like pineapples and peaches um, and, and the nectarines and uh, apricots. Just a beautiful, really rich like pineapple sweetness yeah. with just like very soft and like creamy kind of delicate peat. Yeah, Nothing that's it. jumping aggressively here. at all yeah. towards you. And it's got, obviously it's not gonna be like Brora level, like pure Brora funk. Yeah. But it's got just like this, this tiniest funk I just kept my, my finger on. Like it's not as obviously as farmy as Brora, but it's different. It's, so, it's highlighting all the fruits. The way I would word it maybe is it's a slightly grassy. Yeah. And then also the grassy, you kind of get like to the pity back as well. Yes. So it's kind of this, you know, it's a blend, kind of this like interesting hybrid. Yeah, probably like more like funky grassy is a good way to put it. I'm getting like green apple skin. Oh yeah. But for me, very unique, like compared to the usual Johnny Walker Blue Label. It's a little oilier. Oh. It's a little more refined. Um, it's a little fruitier. Yep. Um, on the bottle here, it suggests dark chocolate as one of the few tasting notes they put. I'm not getting That's that at all. That's the one thing I don't get at all, yeah. Yeah. Like roasted hazelnuts, light almond, little pecan. Um, obviously the fruits. I get a tiniest bit of the, a little bit of, tiniest bit of Kleinleash wax. Yes. But the biggest thing is how unique the peat is compared to most Johnny Walker Blues. It's very well integrated. It's very yeah. soft and it's very fruity. Really nice. Palette? Palette. This really shows you what they're capable of doing with the blend. Perfectly. Serving facts, nutritional information, mm -hmm. zero protein. Mm. Well, that's nice. There's nothing not to like about this. Anybody who's into whiskey is going to enjoy this. It's really, really good. It's really good. It suggests some good age on the palate too. Um, yeah. It's very refined. You get a little bit more peat on the palate, yeah, sure. um, but it's a very enjoyable one. Um, on the regular blue label, you get more, a little more oak. Mm. This one is more refined. Yeah, um, I'd say that perfectly. Uh, and it's it's a little more fruity, and the finish leaves you with like a little bit of um, 
almost a little bit of that like cigar wrapper, humidor, sandalwood kind of a feel Bingo. to it as well on the finish. Really like that. Really like put that. It, yeah, the, the regular blue label is almost just straight like woody. Like woody to me, especially on the finish. And the finish is very woody and very and, and, and more peat. Yeah. And this is like this is like refined, like you yeah. said, like aromatics. Yes. Woods, like cedar, yeah, mahogany, sandalwood. Yes. And that peat, yeah, it's definitely more peat forward. The fruits are more in the background. Yeah. All the fruits are there. But I'm i I'm digging that. The and I've been the light smoke, the peat, the grassiness, and the finish. I've been very surprised that some of these special edition wow. blue label bottles that I've always kind of looked past because I'm not a huge blue label guy. That's I right. actually, if I'm being honest, I like the 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 black label, the double black right. better than the blue label. Sure. And that goes for like twenty five dollars around here. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, this is is not that. This is really Ooh. really good. Yeah. It kind of it shows you, and again, they're not all, maybe all going to be this good. But it shows you what, again, what they're capable of doing makes you intrigued to try them all. This is nice. This keeps getting better, too. Yeah. I mean, not to mention, like, hold the level. Like, the crazy, like, John Walker yes. 200th anniversary. Yes. I mean, now you get into thousands, but it makes me, before I wouldn't even dream of it. Yes. Makes you a little curious what they can do when you get super high age stuff. I'll say, well, I'll say this, not to drift off topic. I'll say Ro Ro Royal Salute is also a blend. Some of their aged stuff is actually really, really, really good. So it makes you believe, not make, I mean, we, you know, makes you also wonder, which because I, I haven't tried some of like the two, three thousand crazy dollar right. um, John, uh, Johnny Walker. Yeah. So yeah, it does make you wonder. One more sip. Yeah. Talk it, about the finish. It's beautiful. Nothing to complain about. Just everything integrated perfectly, blended perfectly. They're highlighting the key notes of the main distilleries they mentioned. Oh. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Even fruitier on second sip. Mm. 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 I'm getting like a little cinnamon, mm. nutmeg, allspice, the spices there. Yeah. Yeah, sandalwood spice, kind of like, but, but bringing out that, that cinnamon. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's got, it's got a creamy mouthfeel. It's, it's got like elements of like white peach. Ooh. Um, just really, really nice. Just really, really nice. That's a good, you know what I like about the, so it hits your palate, right? Initially, as soon as I swallow, I get like, apricots, white peach, pineapple. Then it kind of like ever so slightly like dries out and becomes like sandalwood, cinnamon, cigar wrapper, humidor kind of feel. And then as that lingers off, I get like these apricots coming back. Back, boom. And the peaches, white peaches, yeah. And all so cool. slightly sweet peat. This is awesome. This is awesome. Um, finish is really cool. Yeah. And it yeah, did that, that twice. That, like, that kind of like sweet peat. Yeah. It did unique. that twice. Very unique. Yeah. Th this is this is a this is a whiskey. It's really it's really, really nice. Um I haven't had a lot of it. Mike's had more. But uh for me right now, this is an eighty eight out of a hundred. I absolutely love it. Um I would not go out and buy it at the crazy, crazy prices that are out there. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the original <laughs> retail of two hundred and fifty dollars, I would. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, it's an 88 for me. Yeah. I give it an 89. Yeah. Out of 100. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, it could definitely be an 89. It's Be beautiful just Beautiful really surprise. Yes. Johnny Walker. Yes, yes. If you see this at retail, I would definitely pick it up. It comes in a super fancy package, box oh, yeah. and everything. Um, the bottle's real heavy, real nice, just a real pleasure to even pour out of. And um, something that I would actually relax with a nice tumbler while I'm watching a movie at night. This would make like an insane like wedding gift. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. gift for a friend. Absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Let us know if you've tried it. I'm curious to hear. Um, or the other ones. Yes. The Port Allen and yes. the Glenury Royal. Yes, yes, yes. Well. Absolutely. All right. We'll see you guys uh, soon for uh, many more reviews. Cheers. Cheers.